All right, good morning from Batikaloa here on Sri Lanka's east coast. We're heading into the city now for the first time. Let's see what it's like. But check it out. Batikaloa is surrounded by this beautiful lagoon area. Look at this, we've got some fishermen out here. And it's quite nice, isn't it? Down in the water, look, we've got all these jellies. I don't know if you can see them. Pretty cool place. So here we go. So these ladies have come from the countryside, they're selling all organic produce, so it doesn't use any pesticide or anything. And she's selling her oil. Made from curry leaves. Yeah, from curry leaves. Apparently it's really good for your hair. In this bottle here, look. So it's 250. 250 for a little bottle. They also sell like proper oil. They're selling everything, these ladies. Just like proper organic stuff. The stuff you want to be on. Look, they've got the oranges. Proper deal. Got all these. These are fantastic in Sri Lanka. They're doing it right with them. They're very good, very good. You can't get better than that, can you? Homemade oil from this lady's house. Before we actually head into the town itself, we need something to eat. It's a very hot day, so we're going to this little spot and see what they have. Now than everyone, we keep ending up in restaurants at like the worst time. The lunch stuff, the rice and curry, is not ready yet. And the breakfast stuff has been here since 5 a.m. crack of dawn. But anyway, we've got our little breakfast. So we've got some paratha, we've got some coconut sambal, it's quite good that. We've got some dal, again it looks alright. And then some short snacks. So we've got, is this salmon did he say? He said salmon. A little salmon triangle, beef roll, what's yours? Like a chicken, chicken samosa. But these I uh, can confirm are not fresh. These have been here for a while, but it is what it is. We're not being picky today. Yeah, definitely not fresh. Oh well. Let's give this a try then. Eh? Let's get some of that chili, fresh green chili in there. There we go, a nice little pinch. Some red onion. You know what? That's a quite good. Absolute classic, you can never go wrong with this. It's always really fresh. And the paratha, I mean, it's actually quite good. It's hot, it's fresh, it's quirky, it's good. It is good. Just how the dog quick. Let's get that big green chili. That's good, doesn't it? There we go. Again, it's all right. Oh yes, it's got a kick to it, that's good. It's alright that. Good breakfast. Mm. I was slugging it off, but it's alright. Not the best in the world. Let's try this bloody fish triangle. I'm gonna just rip it in half though so we can see what's in there. I tell you what, when they aren't fresh, they're a bit tough to like get into. So you can see in there we got what? Fish, potato, spices, pepper. I mean it's absolutely stone cold, but it still tastes quite good, you know. These short snacks in Sri Lanka, they're always really peppery and I love it. And the fish, you can't go wrong. Fish, island, makes sense. It's cold, but it's all right. Bloody hell, people. I've just ripped into this beef roll. Mm. And I've got to be honest, this is one that you do not want to get not fresh. Let's just try it. I mean, your filling's all right. The outside's just, it's not good. It's not fresh and hot. But, nah. See what I mean here? That is exactly what you want in your doll. Those little dry chilies. That's all we need. Mm. Just put it out incredibly tasty. We asked for less sugar this time. So I think there's two heat teaspoons as opposed to four. It's a very good cup of tea. I mean, it looks a good brew, doesn't it? It's the right colour. 
No, it's good that. So just a little bit sweet, like a tiny bit. It actually tastes like tea as opposed to a cup full of sugar and milk. It's good that. Let's get some tea philosophy going. Start the day right. Our mate, he has done it just right. He's struck that perfect balance. You know, it's not too bitter, it's not too sweet. It's just right. Our mate back there is a Cristiano Ronaldo of brew making. Okay. I've not brought you the bill, have I? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Your mate on the tea makes a top brew. Very good, very good, mate. Cheers. He has no idea what I just said to him, is it? It's that rate 80 for everything. Right. So I think we should actually walk down by the lagoon where we started the video because it looked dead nice. Look at this, we're walking. Bloody hell, we've not walked in a while. We've been on the bikes, motorbikes, bicycles. What's this? How do we do this in this heat? Gosh, we're gonna cook. Yeah, see you all later when we're lobsters. This will be bright red. All right, sir. What's this, what, what are we doing? Oh, we get a picture. Okay, we'll get a picture on the camera then. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Ellis. My name? Ellis. Alex. Ellis. Ellis. What is your name? Madura Singer. Madura Singer. Madura Singer. Oh, very cool name. Interesting. Singer. Oh, I can see it. Madura Singer. Wow. Okay, sir. Yeah, very nice name. Your name? Alicia. Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Your name? Nurse. Job. Nurse. Nurse, and I am a professional. Nurse. Yeah. Me? Me, professional footballer. No. Professional in England. I play for Blackburn Rovers. Do you know? No matter what village. Blackburn England. Rovers. England. England. But I'm a footballer. Footballer. Professional. Uh, yes. Okay. Very nice to meet you, sir. Okay. Bye. 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 See you later. They were funny. They just um, stood outside the police station. On patrol. On the, on the hey, hey! Shut up! <laughs> on the <other> side. Yeah. <laughs> you say they're on patrol, they're just, they're just dossing, aren't they? And he really wanted a picture, so we got a picture of him. <laughs> nice walk round here, isn't it? Look at this. On a lovely blue sky day. I mean, it's alright, Sri Lanka, isn't it? When we're just walking around streets like this, sun shining, it's a good vibe. I honestly cannot complain. Look at this, it's tropical. It's well nice. What's this? Hey, there's one here as well. This is prime people watching spot here. You can watch people go by. Down by the water. Let's try and get one off these lads. Yeah. Everyone. Oh, king of the castle, king of the castle, I have a chair. Go to this, go to that, the king of the castle. What's this we've come across here? I've just seen a big sign. 100 rupees for this mystery drink. A1. What is that? Alright lads, let's try it. Do they have it in stock? What is it? We'll find out either way. Hello, sir. What is the A1? A1. Is what, the... what is it? Thank you. Okay. Let's ask our mate. Hello, sir. What's this? A1? Is it showing? Oh, please can we get a couple of glasses? Yes, please. Oh, cheers. I mean, 100 rupees, flipping bargain, let's have that. We've got a nice place to sit here as well, look at this. So, 
Yeah, look, the lagoon area, it's a, to be fair, a Baticlaw, a really nice city. I've got to say, it's a really nice city, it's quite peaceful. And it's because it's by the water. Any city, by a lagoon, river, lake, whatever, it's instantly 17 times better. Then over there, we've got Baticlaw Fort. We might head over there and check that out as well. But yeah, look, lovely place to be. Oh, drinks you. here, cheers. What's he throwing in here then? Some milk? Maybe it's condensed milk, the red syrup. Some of those little yeah. seeds, what are they? They're like chia seeds, what are they? I Some type of seed. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Well, that was a crap one, but <laughs> cheers. <laughs> there were no noise, it don't count. Hey, what's the jelly in that? Or is it the seeds? It's really good, that. It's syrupy, it's milky, it's refreshing. It's got those ice there. If you want, you can crunch them ice cubes. Mm. Cheers. Hold the drinks up. Thank you. It's very good. Refreshing, isn't it? Very respectful. Refreshing. Very sweet as well. Not a bad place for a drink, is it? Look. Not a bad place at all. It's a it's I told you there was some fruit in it. Pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah. So we've got pineapple, seeds, ice, milk, mm. syrup. Mm. Let's get one in. <laughs> cheers, mate. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> big cheers, big cheers. Thank you. <laughs> they also do fresh juices in here at very affordable prices. The lads have got them. They look really good. I don't know what they've got. What is that? Watermelon. Yeah. So the bath. Oh, everyone's not the same as us. Okay. 100 rupees, that's why everyone's on it. <laughs> We're just having a look at the menu, and I've got to say, this place is fantastically priced. Like, all the juices are like 150, 200. Even for your good old wood apple, Sri Lankan classic. And the pineapple, everything's like 200. He's also got this, colour candy, which everyone is saying we need to try. But he only sells it at like 6 a.m. He said he sells out at 7, so. Keep your eyes peeled. Hopefully we can try that in a future video. Bloody hell, you can't say they don't look after you here in Sri Lanka. They just basically evicted us from that table. They said you need to sit in here, it's nicer, it's cooler. And I've got to agree, look. I've got this like shaded area. With a view, look at view. I mean, it's lovely. You could sit here all afternoon. We've got the birds down there as well. Do a bit of bird watching if you're feeling a bit Davy here. Attenbury. Yeah, I just said that. It's nice, isn't it? Now we just got speaking to the lads working in here, really nice guys, and they just told us that this is actually a government run spot, you know, just for the everyday people so everyone can come here and enjoy a wonderful juice at affordable prices. And it's really good, isn't it? Same as the food spots we keep going to, you know, the government run food spots where they get the, the women in from the villages, countryside or wherever, to sell like affordable, tasty food, same type of thing. It's really good, I like it. So people can come here, yeah? Anyone can come. They can afford a juice and they can sit here, look at this. So yeah, not a bad spot. Unfortunately, it's now time to leave Lena Cafe and move on with our day. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Okay, best of luck. See you later, mate. Go on. See you later, cheers. Really, really nice lads then. Top lads actually. Proper just like, just kind of humble lads. Anyway. Good spot. I mean, you see that sign. I don't know about you, but I see that I'm in. I'm in there, there's just no doubt about it. Look, massive sign with a nice drink on, full of ice. I'm in. Hundred, goodbye. Hundred rupees. Yeah, get me in. Well, good spot that. So I think we're going to check out Petticolor Market, which is somewhere over here. Just walking down the street, the shop fronts. A really cool look, proper old school. Hand painted, nice and colourful. Look at that, I like it. Can't beat hand painted sign, honestly. You don't see them in many places in the world, but they are lovely. Look at this, the saloon. Wanakam, hello sir. I see you here, you have jackfruit. The big jackfruit. Can you cut or no? 
Oh. Sells it whole. Okay, thank you. So here we are in the market, little fruit and veg thing. As you can see, it's just like all the markets are, just like small scale, um, the way they should be. Hello. Hello, sir. And everyone's stuff does look very good. I've got to be honest, look. These people just brought their stuff, haven't they, from home or wherever outside town. We've got the bucket of eggs there. The, the dried fish stinks, look. Right, mate? Dried fish is a bit whiffy. Yeah, it's pretty cool in here. Always nice to have a walk through. So, seeing these spoons everywhere on the side of the road, I think they're made out of coconut. I just think they look really nice. When we stayed in Colombo, she had these in the kitchen, and I was like, really nice spoons. So, maybe I'd like to get one to see at home. I wonder how much they do for you. Hello, sir. 100 rupees? Look, now it's a bargain. Go on, yeah, let's get it. Yeah. Is this made from coconut? Oh, uh, coconut. coconut. Coconut, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool then, yeah. And is this one this also. One, this one coconut. This one 100 oh, or more? Oh. How much is this one? Uh, this one 200. 200. Oh. So it's got a couple of different styles and they're proper like homemade coconut rupees, spoons. This one 100 rupees. This one 200. Which is actually quite clever, this isn't it? This one, this one, hasn't it? Which one do you think? Should I go for the 100 or the 200 big boy? Whichever you like more. This one's nice, it's been polished, this one. Maybe it's got a nicer handle. Get this one, eh? This one. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we've made a sale. This one I like your eyebrow slits. <laughs> Looking good, mate. Looking sharp. <laughs> so Alicia just bought one of these spoons for under roofies. It's cool, isn't it, how they make it... Um, out of the coconut. Right. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Off we go. Bye bye. See you later. So, what do we do now? Let's just keep exploring. Hello, I'm very good. How are you? Yeah, sir. From England, sir. England. England. Yes. Hey, up, people. Come across a fish lady. Manakam. Hello. What's she got here? To be fair, it does look quite good but as you can see it's flamageddon flipping hell you get a side of flies with your fish the um prawns look really good these they, they look very good them ones look at these big and juicy look fresh wow okay nandri thank you I'll just keep wandering eh it's such a beautiful market here as well now Can I just say, and I don't want to jinx this now, but so far here in Sri Lanka, everyone has been very honest with us. I mean, we are outside like the main tourist spots. I imagine it's completely different there, but that's the same in any country. But like I said, before we came to Sri Lanka, I did a lot of bad stuff. Like people are, there's quite a lot of scammy people, like bad people knocking around, but we've not really met any yet. One or two bad eggs. A few tuk-tuk drivers have been at bell ends, but other than that, everyone's been genuinely absolutely lovely. The people are really sweet. And we just got to appreciate, like, for example, the man who sold this spoon. No, there's no prices on anything. Like, we, we hardly even ask the prices for it, buy anything here, because you just trust people, and they come out with honest prices. Like, he could have, he could have, you know, he's seen all white mugs, he could have said, like, 500 for that. But instead, he just said the same price as he's telling everyone else, so, big up. Thank you. Good luck. You want a picture as well? Okay, I'll take a little video. Okay, super. Cheers. Have a nice day, sir, alright? See you later. <laughs> I really find it amusing when people are. Just like these all working normal people, just say, go on, take a picture of us. And I mean, obviously, it's a video camera, so I'm just there, like, filming them. And they think it's a picture, and it's always really funny. Anyway. Now we're just crossing the bridge here in the centre of Batiklo. We're going to this part of town which is like completely surrounded by water. It's pretty much an island, as you can see. And I just want to take a minute to say a big shout out to Adrian. Thoughts. Absolute legend, long time subscriber, top walk. For pushing us into coming to Sri Lanka. And a few other people we met actually, a few people recommended the coming because it was never actually on our list, I've got to be honest. 
I'm very glad we came. It's absolutely lovely here. Like, did not have many expectations and we're really enjoying it. Did not think it would be this nice. Like, I don't really have a bad thing to say apart from there's too many crows and we need to get rid of them all. That's about it. Maybe the internet can be a bit dodgy at times, but it doesn't really matter, so. I mean, there is just no denying the streets here in Batikaloa and Sri Lanka in general are very clean. Look at this. It's lovely. It's a nice place to walk around. Everywhere is genuinely very pleasant to just be and chill out. Right, here we've got people going around the streets, the park, cleaning and making it nice for everyone. You've got to appreciate it. You've got to. And here he is, the main man, Big Gans. Go on, son. Right. Gandhi Park. To be fair, it's a really nice area, isn't it? I bet, especially early morning and at sunset, you know, to come and sit down here by the lagoon, it's absolutely lovely. I've got to say, so far, just wandering around, Batiklo is a very nice town. Chilled out, clean, peaceful town. Go on, mate. Come here, got something for you. Got a little treat. It's a beef roll. Honestly, you'll absolutely love it. I promise. Just trust us. Come on. Oh, gosh, we're not getting anywhere here. Look at the state of that dog. Mister! Should we go over to like it? A little cow. Let's try and get it. Or does he not want it? Hey mate, look. I know you're not gonna to come to us, so we're coming to you. No, this is really delicious. Why are you what? What? <laughs> trying to feed the dogs and getting rejected? Oh, I've got it out. I'll put it on the floor for you then. Okay, I'll put it. Oh. Hey mate, 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 look, it's there. Oh, Alright, enjoy it. That poor sod. Right, you'll enjoy that nice beef roll. I know it's a bit stale, I'm sorry, I couldn't get you a fresh one. I couldn't get a fresh one for myself. This is a special samosa that I picked out just for you. Come on, mister. Come on. You're go like on, a, mate. Like it's all right. Oh, good boy. Go no, on. go on, you go can on. take it. Don't half go bite on. it. Oh, just give it you. Go on. Come on. I feel sorry for this dog. It's got really funny eyes. Hey, all in one. I ripped it up for it. Because it's going to choke to death yeah. now. You've killed it. That's hey. how hot stale that smoker is, I can't even chew through it. <laughs> I'd have had no luck. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> now we're going to try and head into the fort area. I don't actually know if we're going to be allowed in, because it says District Secretariat. I think it might be some type of government police office area now. I don't know, we'll have a look. Hello, sir. How Hello, sir. You? Can we come have a look? Yeah. Oh, oh, no problem. Thank okay, thank you. Oh, we're allowed in, it's okay. Cheers, sir. So, we'll just have a bit of a wander around there. Maybe we can climb up and get a view over the lagoon. So let's see if we can have a look in here. Then I can see up there it says 1682. So you know we are on to an old historical fort. Hello, Hello sir. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. How are you? Yeah, fine. Just have a look at the fort. Yeah, we'll yeah. tell the story. Can we just have a walk around? Look around. It's okay. Bloody hell, we're inside the fort. We got to the door. The geezer hands us about 17 leaflets. We've got ice creams, like resorts, different businesses around town. And then he also says he'll, he'll give us a guide around for a thousand rupees each. Seems quite steep. But anyway, you can just come in and have a wander around at your own pace. You can have a read about the history before you come or after. So we can have a walk around the walls here. Maybe get some nice views. And it's nice and shaded, so we can't complain. Again, though, about my mate handing us all these leaves. It's not being funny. We met him earlier today, and we told him where we're staying. We told him we already have a lovely hotel. Why is he giving us, like, hotel cards for, like, resorts? Come on, mate. It's shameless advertising. I've just walked into the fort, so I are on the round. I'm not a flipping promotion board. Like a... Do you know what I mean? Flipping 27 leaflets rammed down my throat the second I step in like that. It's throwing them at me. Now while we're here, let's give you a little history lesson on Batiklo Fort. It was built in 1628 by the Portuguese 
and then it was taken over after that by the Dutch and then the British. And it's pretty cool to be fair, the views from up here are quite nice, look at this, over the lagoon. I mean it's a decent place to build a fort isn't it? Look at this. On the corner you can see we've got the towers, let's have a look in here. Very old. Let's see if we can squeeze in, look at this. It's a narrow one. Hey, hey, hey. And there we go, there's your view, look at this. So, I think that's enough history for one day. Let's head off on a mooch. I feel like all I've done since we came in the fort is ramp my head off. But this is my last one, my last morn, I promise. The Riviera Resort, if you come into Batticloa, I don't recommend staying here. I contacted these before we came and they weren't the best bunch. I mean, the, the rooms are like, what, 25 pounds for like a shipping container with no Wi-Fi. And the food's like six pounds a meal. Nah, I'm not having that. I mean, we're paying like 15 pounds. We're like pretty much on the beach in a lovely, friendly neighborhood. The owner of our hotel, Dinesh, really nice guy. Yesterday he made us home cooked food. Just, just to be nice. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah, Riviera Resort, Pfft, in bin. And if you're wondering where our hotel is, it's called Sea View Resort. I'll put it on the screen, you can find it. I like it. We're not sponsored by him, he's just a good man and his hotel's alright. There you go. Okay. Thank Cheers, you sir. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, hell, upon leaving, Lee's got a um, gunpoint forced to write a review in the book. It's not a rock. Well, yeah, I think you should have written The Man Did My Head In. Tried selling me everything under the sun. Oh, here they are! Yeah, <laughs> and we've come to another dead nice little park area here by the lagoon. Batticloa is just pure chills. Now I was hoping we could go out here but they flipping fenced it off. Why have they done that? Well that's silly isn't it? But let me just go over here and just show you. So we've just got a park area. I've got to say there is not much going on here. It is just dead chill. Look at this, it's pretty much flat. So there we go, we'll head back into town, try and find something interesting. I don't know what we're gonna get up to, but yeah, it's hot. Have I told you it's hot in Sri Lanka, in this series? If I haven't, it's hot. We just went into the shop to get a bottle of water because we're pretty much this close to death walking around these barren 40 degree streets. Anyway, Leash picked water out the fridge. And the man actually took it off and swapped it. Said this one's 10 rupees cheaper. <laughs> the unsung hero, the man we all need. A legend. How is it? It's really good, just what we need what? in this heat. American water. Was it sealed? Yeah, 100% sealed. Mmm. It's cold, that. You want some of this, mate? Excuse me, mate. You got a drink? No, no. Right then, fine, it's done. Mm. Um, I'm honestly worried about the state of my skin. I'm going to be a crisp packet. Yeah. Look at this everyone, we're on the Brolly crew. Brollies. Go on Brolly crew. what's up? There they are, look at this. That's funny, isn't it? That? I wonder what they're saying to each other. Oh, it's too bloody hot, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a flipping scorcher. Oh, it's too hot. I like it hot, but I don't like it this hot. <laughs> now, back in 2019, on Easter Sunday, Sri Lanka was hit by a series of Islamic terror attacks. And this little church here was unfortunately victim. So, block came from a town nearby to Batikloa. He stayed the night in the mosque, he said his morning prayers, and then he went to a church around the corner. He missed the mass, so he couldn't blow himself from there. He came around here, tried to get in here. He got stopped at the door, because he was obviously a suspicious guy. And then he blew himself up outside. Killed a lot of families, kids, loads of kids. Just trying to enjoy the Easter Sunday, it's extremely sad. 
Absolute scumbag piece of shit. And look at this. Look at this, just a tiny little community. You know, God bless the community. It's an absolute shame. I think the army are rebuilding it. So hopefully one day this will just be a normal place again for people to come. Let's go to church in peace, whatever. But yeah, it's like, uh, you know what I mean? Look how peaceful it is around here and then that incident must have shook the entire community. It's extremely sad. And it wasn't just here. Obviously everyone will have heard of the big suicide bombing in Colombo that killed all those people. Look at this old colonial building that I think is actually a school. And there's loads of buildings like this here in Batiflora. Really cool, really cool place. Hello, sir. Hi. How are you doing? But yeah, look at that. Lovely chap. Oh, big dog in the tuk tuk, right? <laughs> Dribbling. Bloody hell. And here she is. Beautiful St. Mary's Cathedral. Over 200 years old. She's a nice blue colour. Look at that. We're going right. Right, right around the corner. Because it's just far too long to walk. We just want to go around the corner. It's like a 25 minute walk. The bus doesn't take two minutes. So I think this bus is going in the right direction. They're absolutely off. Chomping the... They're off the red, aren't they? Yeah, chomping the boots off, shall we say. They're on the old beetle now. Look at that. <laughs> He's off his barnet. Resting in where the bus is going, he can't even give us an answer. He's just like... I like it, I like it. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Pretty guy, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, cheeky grin on his face. Yes, sir. Wait, April, we've actually jumped off here because there's a juice bar and it's flipping roasting, like I keep telling you. We've hit a wall, there's only so long you can walk around in this sunlight, what, four or five hours, and that's it. We just can't do it anymore, so. Hey, he's got uh, King Coconut on offer, 180, 20 rupee discount. And he'll have loads of other juice, so. And there's fans. It's alright, this. Big papaya, big watermelon. Right. Oh, orange juice is buy one, get one free. You buy one, get one free. Might have to get two of them for myself. As you can see in here, we've got a giant menu. We've got all kinds fresh fruits, smoothies, lassi, fruit salad, milkshakes. And the fruit sounds really good. They've got all kinds. But I've gone for a wood apple juice for 2 50 because while we're in Sri Lanka, let's embrace it. You're not going to find it anywhere else. It's good for your body and it cools you down. What have you got, Leash? I got my heat on. My heat on. a bit minty. So yeah, I've just realised the back is full of all kinds of stuff as well. Coffee, tea, mocktails. Is that what you're on? The mocktail? Classic yeah. mojito. <laughs> 300 rupees, right. Sounds quite good. Thank you, sir. Oh, let's do a swap Saruni. Hey, that looks quite fancy, doesn't it? Glamorous. Look at that. I think it does. It's a flipping rockstar drink, man. And then here we have the granddaddy of Sri Lankan juice. The biggest legend, the wood apple juice. So you can see it's quite thick. It smells funky. <laughs> Cheers. Sure, it just went in my eye. Such a weird thing. I still can't describe it. it. Tastes like tamarind. It tastes like socks. It tastes like. Don't know. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Nearly died drinking that then. I like inhaled it through the straw. We've also got a couple of glasses. Corporation pop, Sri Lanka's finest tap water with ice. It's quite good actually. 
Now at the start of this Sri Lanka series, we bought a red banana in Colombo. It wasn't right, it was a big fat fail. But we've got another one, we're gonna make it right, right here, right now. So this is right, we asked the man, we said, is this ready to eat? So let's see how they taste. These are apparently really, really good for you. And they're quite big, that's, that's like a big banana, isn't it? Top banana. So um, cheers. Very good banana. What's the world come to? Banana reviews. Genuinely very good bananas. And yeah, if they're as healthy as people say they are, oh, you can't complain. Mmm. Really good, sweet. There's a lot in there. There we go. Enough of that. Hello? What have we come to sitting outside the hotel room doing flipping banana reviews? What what's happened to the channel? It's gone tits up, it's all gone down in. Look at me sat here, next to me flipping router trying to get every last wave of the Wi-Fi coming out of it. Pack it in lads! I'm trying to make a video. Look at these lads, they did like a banana, wouldn't they? Are they goats walking past? How's it going everyone? There they are. I'll tell you what I'll do, I might give you a little hotel tour. So we'll quickly head inside the room. First things first, and just show you what's going on. Very simple, as you can see, everything is wood, so it's really nice actually, and it's pretty cool. You've got a ceiling fan and an aircon, depending on how you're feeling, or if it's just too f***ing hot, you can have both on. What have we got? We've got a fridge, which is actually fantastic. Cold water, curd, Baby pineapples, these are top. We've got some Sri Lankan treacle, kittle treacle. Right, what else have we got? Just a bed in the flipping bedroom, who would have thought? Bathroom. Get a light on it. Eh? Simple as you like. Now the bathroom's actually alright, the toilet is comfy. You only appreciate a comfy toilet when it's taken away from you. So yeah. That's that. Really nice room to be fair. I think the wood just makes it nice and cosy. We're paying like, is it 3,500 a night? Like 15 pounds or something. Then outside, we have got a nice little seating area, like a little terrace if you will, which is quite nice to sit out on. Then directly over there is the ocean. So we always get a sea breeze coming in, which is nice. Believe me, and it keeps a lot of the mosquitoes away, the fresh breeze. And yeah, it's a little garden area. To be fair, it's a really nice place to chill out. So there she is. Now what we might do is head over there and just quickly show you the beach. And then we're going to head, maybe walk 20 minutes down there and get some food. We want to try chilli parata for the first time. Right then, we'll literally take you across the road to the beach and show you what's going on. We've not really even had a proper look over here, so here we go. We found this little cute dog here on the beach, look at it. <laughs> it looks petrified. Look at your little eyebrows, mate. You're all right though, aren't you? Just a bit scared. You like that? <laughs> yeah? Very strange dog, you're very strange. <laughs> she's got a big ticking on you. Oh really? It's mm. a shame. She looks she's saying help me. Mm. Right. So 
So just behind the beach, we've got this area here with all these trees, which is actually nice. I guess in the day, you can come and shelter from the sun, get some shade. A nice place to sit, maybe have a picnic. I don't know what's going on here. Some type of mad bonfire with a load of glass bottles. And then as you can see, the rest of the beach, there's just no shade whatsoever. It's like a desert. It's like a Mad Max again. But we'll head over there to the actual sea and see what's going on. Now, before we've even got to the sea, I've got to say, it's not the greatest beach ever. There's a lot of shark knocking about. But yeah, sand's quite coarse, quite sharp. And I've heard it's quite a steep drop off here. It's actually quite dangerous to swim. And, I mean, I've got to be honest, this bit's quite terrible. There's no, I can't be, um, I can't gloss over it. There's quite a lot of shit there, isn't there? Look, all in this little channel, loads of shite. Plastic bottles, all kinds. Hey, what's this big jellyfish? Piles and piles of jellyfish. Maybe this is what the fishermen caught by accident in the nets and they just had to throw out onto the beach. But as always, with these type of beaches, when you get past all the litter and shit, like if you just cut that off, the actual beach itself is lovely. Like if people just looked after it, or like, even if the litter is washing up or whatever, if people clean it and keep on top of it, the beach would be beautiful. But again, this isn't peak tourist season, so maybe in tourist season people clean it, let me know. I don't know. But right now, nobody's cleaning this. Everyone's just using it as a bin. But yeah, you've got to admit, it is quite beautiful. Quite a nice flat ocean. Look, with golden hour, sun's um, sky's all going orange. Fishermen are pulling the nets in over there, there's crows everywhere. It's quite nice. Sandy is nice as well. Out to sea. It's quite nice and warm actually. So yeah, there we go. It's a little local fisherman's beach right outside where we're staying. This isn't a tourist beach. It's just a working beach. Good sun setting over there. Oh, go and get it. Oh, you know, go, you know, go. Right, everyone, we're gonna go for a walk through our little village area and get some tea. Try and get that chili parata. I mean, is there a nicer place to walk at sunset? I don't know. We've got all the palm trees. It's dead chill around here, and I think at this time of day, everyone will just be outside with the families, just um, doing some time together. Hello, how are you? Not come. So we'll go down here, eh? Right. It's, honestly, where are we staying, right? There is absolutely nothing here. But that's what's so nice about it, because when you're off this one main, that is the main road, and then when you're off that, it's just super peaceful. And yeah, everyone is out in the street. So everyone just lives in these super simple little houses. It's a pr it's proper village feel, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. That community feel. Yeah, the best is like in the morning and in the evening. Everyone's out with the kids, having a little chat with the neighbours across the street. It's really nice. It's just good vibes. It's how things should be. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Everyone's dead nice, honestly, around here. It is exactly like I said, everyone is just chilling on the street because the weather is a bit cooler. And some of these houses as well, they're really beautiful. They look really simple, but they're actually dead nice. People keep them really clean. The streets are fairly clean around here as well. Look at this, we've even got a post office in the village. They always like that, even in the most random places in Sri Lanka. Like when we went to the island just off Jaffna, there's 500 people there. And there was a post office on the island. There was absolutely nothing else, just a post office and a school. It's funny. Pro they're proper nice people really around nice. here, honestly. Super friendly. I, there's no one that don't give you a wave or a smile. When you, best is when you walk in the morning and everyone's like, Good morning! <laughs> so it's like uplifting people. It's really nice. 
souvenir on these tiny village streets. You've got places that sell food here. They've got pitu and string hopper. Hello, sir. And then we've got a little snack shop across the road that you would think is a flipping night club, wouldn't you? All right, mate? Go on. Really? Should we get one yeah, for the crack? Go on. Oh, mate, it's enticed us with his sexy music. So I don't know what this is. Looks like a donut. It's like a sugar flipping whatever. <laughs> good, good, music, good. How much is it? Water. Okay. Okay. Go on, Leash, let's get some moves. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Yes, go on, lads! <laughs> What's he doing? He called the toddy line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, it's just disappeared. He said, wait a second, we don't know what's happening. Absolute vibe nation. Yo, why? Hello. Oh, she's come for the dance party. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. That's well funny. Isn't it? What did he do? He's going to get his sister or his wife, or I don't know who it was, just to come and have a look at the dancing foreigners outside the shop. She got invited to the flipping party. Look at that in this little. Goodbye. Where are we here? Look, it's just like the tiniest random village street. Look, proper tropical. And you've got that, that spot. Should we try this donut thing? It was that's, I have to go that's what got us in, didn't he? He was there within the big foot tap. Yeah, it's just a donut, I think. Just a little donut. Sugar. Oh, that's good. Is it good? Like a black little donut. Grandad's just come out of the house now <laughs> with his bare feet and his top off. <laughs> Can I go back? <laughs> Is that a sure? It's a classic little snack shop, I guess. <laughs> It is what it says on tin, it's just a simple donut with some sugar on. Mm. We've come across another party house selling snacks and we think these are cassava. This cassava, cassava. Go on, please can we have a little bit of this? We'll just get a couple of pieces there. I think it's cassava, it's not like made into crisps, like cut up, just a chunk. And again, look, this party house, Friday night, party time. Yeah, okay, yeah, just a little pick me up there. Oh, oh chili, yeah. chili, yes, please. Yeah, I got Okay. I guess there's chili thrown on the top as well, why not, yeah? Super. Oh, mozzy mozzies. Mozzy more no. Thank you. Thank you so much. So these are 50, they are boiling hot. They've just come out of the fryer, like, wow, they're fresh. Okay. Thank Andrew, you. thank you. A couple of fried cassava chips. They also sell oranges and coconut. Mm. There's all kinds of stuff in the village. You can get proper food, snacks. Music, everything. It's all going on. It's lovely. Ooh. Well, let's try these. And I think they might be too hot, you know, to actually eat. So we've got some chili salt, it looks like. They're well hot. Oh my gosh. So fresh, but oh, wow. quite good that. Very good. Super, cheers. <laughs> really good, they're burning my hand though. Mmm, really starchy. It's like a potato dryer for mm. I quite like it. I like it as well. Like a really <laughs> dense potato. Okay, now here is the spot we are going to check out. I've got to come clean, we actually came here the day we arrived in Batikloa and we went in, possibly received the worst service of any restaurant in Sri Lanka and then just left because it was that bad. But everybody deserves a second chance, so we'll go inside and see how it is. It looks very busy to be fair, so it can't be bad. Maybe the morning staff would have been grumpy. Maybe, um, maybe the cat died. Hello sir, Vanakam. We have come to try chili paratha. Yeah, that's yeah, made, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. So here we go, chili paratha. The dish we've been looking for. So 
something we haven't tried yet, so we want to try it. We do have everything though in here, honestly. The menu is massive, we've got all kinds. I'm not even gonna go through it, they've got everything. So, um, here we go, it's a bit smoky, isn't it? Lots of must have had an incense party going on. Thank you, sir. Oh, do you want to get one? Please, can we get one? One chili burrata? What what you recommend? Recommend. Um, what is good? You have chili burrata. What else? Like, one plate. Yeah, one plate. Chili burrata. Well. Go and have a look. Yeah. yeah. Have a look. Have a look. Thank you. So maybe we'll get a split. One plate of the chili burrata and then something else. Thank you very much. Wow, that's a massive portion, mate. <laughs> Flipping hell. So everyone, the chili burrata has arrived. Now this is a very interesting dish, something we have not tried yet. A few people told us to try it. So we've got some water cups here as well. We've got the big ice cold water. I mean, you need this stuff to stay alive in this heat. So what's in here? Let's tell you what we've got. We have got pieces of roti that are quite thick, a lot thicker than a kotu cut up. We've got chili, obviously you can see it's bright red. Well, it's like orange, not bright red. Does it smell sweet? We'll find out. And yeah, just a bit of veg, some bits and bobs. It's a veg dish. It looks quite good to be fair. And then I think we've also ordered an um, utapam. We'll find out. It was one of them where literally we went through the menu, we ordered 17 things and it didn't have anything at all that we ordered. Just one of them, it happens to me. Sod to law, but yeah. You will be in wanting to try something that we've not had before. Yeah. <laughs> Great then, let's try this chili paratha, see how it is. Let's get a nice big piece. It does feel a little oily. It's our first impression. So here we go. It's extremely simple. Not spicy. More like a sweet chili sauce. And the roti is very bready. I must say it's a little fried. Yeah. It's quite a heavy dish it feels like. Ooh. Thank you. Special treat. <laughs> <laughs> right, everyone, what's just around here? I like this guy. He's funny. He's brought over a flipping massive plate of fried snacks like lentil cakes and Miscellaneous curry sauces. What have we got here? Let me show you. What's in that one? That one's good. Can you feel them, them curry leaves? It's delicious. This one's got like dried chilies in them. Dried chilies in them. Mm. Well, that fried lentil cakes, loads of curry leaves in there. Yeah. And then, um, is that a doll possibly? I don't know what this one is. It looks earthy. Right. What was I saying? I was just saying about the chili broth. I think it feels very heavy. I'll be honest. Probably would not order it again. I think it tastes sweet. And mine's got loads of fennel in it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I can see the fennel seed. Mm. I've not when, tasted that when yet. When you get it with the fennel, it's good. When, it, when you get it on its own, it's just very sweet. Hmm. I, I like it though. You know what it reminds me of in a strange way? Go on. Curiously cinnamon. Just right. I think it's right. sweet. No one else in the history of the world is ever going to make that comparison again. <laughs> Chili paratha tastes like. A cereal. Now I do have to say actually I did just have a bite where I could taste a lot of fennel and it was quite good. So yeah, I'm glad we tried it. Enjoying trying new dishes here in Sri Lanka. Oh you know what? When you get a bit of everything and not just the rotty, it's quite good. When you get some of the veg as well, veg and the fennel. Yeah. What's going on here though? I think every table gets them. What, and you eat what, what you, you eat? You don't you want to eat it, you just leave it on there. And we get to go back in the cupboard <laughs> for the next person. So don't you need them? I'm not having it. Leash is off the food reviews for good. Where did that one come from? It's not all right to say things like that. Keep it in your head and don't tell anyone. You're showing us up. It was just the intrusive thought. No, hear me out, just because of the shape. And the Cut. We'll just try these little cakes we've got as well. Now I'm going to get this mystery gravy and pour it over the top. There we go. It's quite thick, that, isn't it? Look at that. Looks peppery. I don't know what's in it though. 
And as you can see, we've got curry leaves. I've actually got, is it sweet corn or lentils? I think it's lentils. So let's see how that is. Break some off. Come on. Come on, let's just, let's just eat it all there in that sauce. Good then. They're fresh. They're fresh. They're not soggy. You've still got a bite, some a bit of crunch to them. I don't know what that is, but it tastes good. Right? Tastes good. Oh, that's a good food review, isn't it? I don't know what that is, but it tastes good. Well, there's two types of people when it comes to food on YouTube. There's people who actually know about what they're eating, they keep it simple, and then there's absolute flipping wombats who know nothing. So to overcompensate, they chat, utter shite, taking words from the flipping back page of the dictionary. Muppets is what we'll call them. Which one are you? I forgot about the third type of person. The Womble that Googles absolutely everything and anything before they turn the camera on, then thinks the flipping Albert Einstein. You're a Muppet as well. What about when you Googled how to say hello to a stranger when you're feeling nervous? What about when you Googled, can the cow eat butter buns and chocolate cake? And we've also got that other fried cake with the dried chilies in which I've just covered in the doll. So let's see how that is, right. Come on, come on mate. It's classic. Sweet and simple, decent little snack. Oh, our utapam has just arrived and this looks fresh. So utapam is fermented lentil and rice flour batter cooked into this little beauty you can see here. What have we got in there? A bit of veg. We've also got some really good looking coconut chutney that's nice and thick. That looks good. So we'll try that in a sec. Now our mate, the utapam, is similar to a dosa that you've seen before, but it's a little bit thicker. So we broke some off. You can see it's almost like a crumpy, it's airy inside. And then we get some of that coconut chutney. Let's try that. It's a classic, it's very good. The edges are nice and crispy. And it's like soft and spongy in the middle. That's good though. Coconut chutney is actually spicy. It's weird, you get like a super fresh coconut, but then you get that kick afterwards. And yeah, those veg are like caramelised. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like caramelised onion. Because mm. the red onion's like char grill on there. What do you think? It's actually really good, I enjoy it. Look at how good the fish. It's very good. And it's very healthy for you. I was about to say, it's very good for your stomach because the batter is fermented. You can taste it, it's fermented. Just a it's slight like sourness, yeah. I take back my chilli paratha slander. It's actually all right. There's loads of fennel in this dish. It reminds me of like a food that you'd eat on a Saturday night and you'd not feel too great about it on Sunday. Probably once a week. a bit of a dirty dish. Look at this coconut chutney, everyone. Can you see how much red is in there? How much chilli is in there? It's just jam-packed with it. Sri Lanka, give yourself a pat on the back, you deserve a big shout out. One of the only countries in the world that can do spicy food. What? Sri Lanka, Thailand, Mexico. Can't really tell you anywhere else that we've been that can deliver. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. The food is fantastic, okay? Tomorrow come, okay? Tomorrow come? Oh. Breakfast? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I like it, I like it. <laughs> My type of geezer him. Bit of cheek, I like it. He's a good man, him. So that food is actually pretty good. Again, the chili paratha. This is my last comment on the chili paratha. I think if you got here when he literally just cooked it fresh, you know, when it was just nice and hot and crisp, I reckon it's. Uh, I reckon it's really good. Shoes off. Yeah, take them off. Take them off. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't think you're meant to take your shoes off, but oh well. We'll keep this lady's floor nice and clean. Oh. Gosh, every time I walk past the fridge in Sri Lanka, I see this Portello, grape flavoured, and it's just Fanta, isn't it? But I don't know. I just want to try it because I keep seeing it everywhere. They sell it everywhere. 
Hello, just this, please. You have to scan. Hey. What, what am I doing here? She obviously does not scan it in this shot. That's, I'm too tired. Oh, no, no bag, no bag. It's ah, okay, just this. Ah, Let's see how much it is. Okay, let's see, five, eight hundred. Oh, eight hundred and eight, see? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Roman Andrew, thank you. Portello. <laughs> Portello. Is it good? Good. Good? Oh, okay. Okay, Landry, goodbye. Go on, Leash, let's try this here. Right in the shop. Just banter, innit? I mean, usually in the fridge in Sri Lanka, they have. Like pretty much all Sri Lankan brands, I quite like it. This obviously isn't a Sri Lankan brand. If you just look in here though everyone, you're getting a fridge door. I've just noticed we've got wood apple juice. Can I get it out? Oh, for goodness sake. Wood apple juice in a bottle. Like not fresh. I wonder how that is. Maybe we'll try that in a future episode. And they've also got orange, orange mango nectar. That sounds good. Right. Fridge door over. Let's try the Portello. <laughs> So it's probably going to be a try once, never try again. But. It looks like a certain flavour that I'm not sure you're fond of. What? Here, ho, cheerio. It smells great, eh? Yeah. Right. I mean, it's alright, mate. Eh? It's, like, it's like a great fizzy drink. Mm. It's like an alcoholic free wine. What? What? Bye bye. Oh, bye, -bye. <laughs> I can't believe that lady has just watched that entire review. See you later. She's probably thinking, what's going on here in my little shop? So it's all right, that. If you like great, yeah. Oh, I'm not right in the head today. If you like great flavored stuff, it's all right. So put Portello. Is that just the um, Sri Lankan name for Fanta? Why do they do that? What else, what else is it in somewhere else? It's Fanta where we live. Portello here. It's got another name somewhere else. I can't remember. Oh, can't remember. Live. I made that up? It's got like a different name in every country you go to. Like a shapeshifter. Right everyone, we'll leave this one here while we've got a little bit of light above us. We have had a right nice first little day here in Bad Boy Batty. It's been all right. It's a nice little place. So yeah, we'll see you in next and good night.